Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can concatenate text in Microsoft Excel. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft. It's something I gotta say for HR purposes, especially when I talk about Microsoft stuff. So concatenate, what does that even mean? Well, imagine that you have two columns of data and you wanna bring them together. That's what concatenate means. You wanna connect those two pieces of data together or you basically join data together. It's actually a lot easier than you think. And the really sad thing is I've, I've had people reach out to me asking me this, like, oh, you know, I spent maybe the last hour, hour and a half going through these two columns in Excel and then taking the first column and pasting it in uh, with the second column. And then it's just like, oh my gosh, that is a waste of time. You don't have to do it manually. The whole reason you use the spreadsheet program is because it automates it for you. All right, well, enough wasting time. Why don't we jump in and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC. I'm using the latest version of Microsoft Excel and you'll notice that the sheet is conveniently set up where I need to use in concatenation. What you'll see is I have this first name column. Uh, this person in the second row is really awesome. That's my name and it goes down all the way through rows nine. Now, this is a short enough list where I could go through and say, okay, I gotta type in the full name and I could just type it in. But let's say you're working with thousands and thousands of rows of data or even just 50 rows of data. It takes a lot of time to do that by hand. So let's figure out how we could have Excel do this for us. Now, what you can do is click on the function uh, option right up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in concatenate. Usually what I like to do is I like typing in the first little bit of it and then I click on go so that way I don't have to spell the whole thing. But what you'll see is it pops up these two different functions uh, which is concat and concatenate and they do exactly the same thing. But what you see is it says concatenates a list or range of text strings. The second one joins several text strings into one text string. So it does the same thing. So let's go ahead and click OK. And what it's asking me to do now is it says, well, what's the first text that you want to concatenate with the second text? So why don't I go through and I'm going to click on uh, cell A2, we'll select that, and now I'm gonna go into uh, the second one. Now what I could do is if I just clicked on my last name, you'll notice that it just combines them, Kevin with no space, Stratford. But I want this to be the full name, so I want a space in between these. So what I could do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert a space here, and then I'm gonna paste Stratford into text three. What you'll see happens now, now you can see the result where it has my first name, space, last name. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK now. And so what that's done is now I have my full name with the space, and this is the beauty of Excel. If you have lots and lots of rows of data, what I can do is you see this little square in the bottom right hand corner and I get this little plus when I hover over it. I'm gonna double click there and you'll notice now what's happened is it's taken this formula that I entered or the function that I entered in C2 and now it's applied it to all the subsequent rows underneath. And here you'll see Bill space John all the way down to my buddy Ben here at the bottom, Ben space Urban, and I've got my full name list. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna show you a little trick that makes this even quicker. If you don't remember the word concatenate, what you can also do is you could use this, my favorite sign or my, my favorite symbol, the ampersand. You could also use this to do a concatenation. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna type in equals and then I'm gonna click on A2 and I could just do an ampersand and then I could type and then I could select the last name and if I hit enter, it'll combine those two. So it's a little bit easier where you say, hey, this and that, bring them together. You'll notice though, once again, I've lost that space. So how do I get the space back in? So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll keep the ampersand there and I'll do a, uh, let's do a quote, space, quote, and then I'll insert another ampersand. And there, uh, that's my formula, and I'll hit enter, and there you'll see that it entered it properly. What I can also do is if I don't wanna do the little quote uh, deal, I can just type in a space in uh, this cell right here, and instead of doing that, I'll get rid of that, and I'll click on cell E2, and that also inserts the space from this cell. So if you don't wanna deal with uh, the, uh, the quotes, you don't have to. You could simply insert that space into a cell and then use that as you paste down. Uh, so let's see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make this an absolute reference, and then I could paste this all the way down, and here too, that works just like the concat function. 
What I wanted to do is just show you how you can very easily concatenate or join together uh, multiple text or strings of text uh, in an easy way in Excel. So especially, let's say if you have thousands of rows or thousands of pieces of uh, strings that you need to bring together, you can very easily do that with the Excel concatenate function. If this helped you concatenate some text, man, that word always throws me off. But if this helped you concatenate lots of text, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas or any other video topics that you want me to cover in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.